a bad one. I don't know if any of you have ever played this before, but this is a little game that my dad and my brothers and my sister would play sometimes, and my mom at a restaurant. We would flick a coin, and we would try to keep it going as long as we could. And we would like shoot it back and forth to each other and see if we could get it going. And if you get if you get good, you can also try this. And stop it, which is pretty fun. Welcome everybody to Play Well Live. I'm Ben, back here in the shed, and we've got a really fun project with you today where we are going to be learning how to make our very own Lego coin sorter. And this project all came about because of my, my family, my daughter, who's doing obviously doing school at home right now, she had a math project where she had to count a bunch of coins. And my wife had the idea of looking if there was any kind of Lego coin sorter that she could build. And so she found one. There was a, there's a guy named, um, I don't know what his name is, but the title of his, of his site is JD Brick Productions. And he made a really cool coin sorter that looked like this. If you can see, and if anybody wants to check it out, again, JD Brick Productions. Now, I really was interested in it. I wanted to see how it worked. And so I looked at it and I looked through it and it used a lot of really fancy pieces to make it so clean and looking good. And I basically blew it up and figured out how it worked so that I could share it with you all and, and figure out the basics of it so that you could make one at home. So if you wanna make a coin sorter that looks like really clean like that, you can check out his site. But what I'm gonna do now is teach you how it works, the insides of it, and then you can work to try to like clean it up yourselves and, and kind of make your own how you want it to look. Now, um, and that kind of goes back to what we were talking about before with engineers sharing ideas. This is something where copying is not a bad thing. If you take an idea and you change it in a way I changed this one a lot so that it would be easier for you all to build with pieces you might have at home. So don't be upset if you don't have all the pieces right with you and it's kind of hard to, to build with me as we go. Um, you might need to watch the video again, but really we're gonna use we're gonna use bricks, a bunch of two by eights and some and some skinny bricks too, one by bricks. We're gonna use some flat tiles and some one by plates. We're gonna use those. Um, let me see what else. And then we're going to use some of these special pieces, which I'll show you right now. We're going to use just a few of these headlight pieces that look like this. These are like, I think, my favorite piece in Lego. And then these, which look the same, but they are not. You need two of these and two of these. These are the headlight pieces. You can see the difference. These have a little ridge on the side. These are basically like a one by brick with a stud on the side. So you need two of those as well. So I think that's kind of all you need for this. So I really simplified it down. Now, we've got how many coins do we have? How many different coins do we have? We've got our quarters, which are the biggest ones. Then we have our nickels. And then we have our pennies. And then we have our dimes or our smallest coins. Now we've got to figure out how to make a Lego machine or mechanism or model that can sort these things out. And really the main thing that we're going to be using is the difference in size. And for some of them it's going to be easier because they're way bigger than each other. But other ones it's going to be very hard. Like if you look at the difference between the size of a penny and a dime, their diameter, which is diameter is the if you drew a line from one end of the circle to the opposite end through the center, that's the diameter. The diameter of a dime and a penny is very, very close. Let me just put them together. You can see they're, oh geez, just a few millimeters apart. So we've got to really figure out how we're going to separate them. Now, the way this starts, it starts with one simple shape that I'm going to teach you how, how we're going to do this. Now I'm going to have a two by eight brick and on one side I'm going to put a plate and if you don't, again, if you don't have a one by eight plate, you can put a few small ones, it doesn't matter. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put a tile, like this. So I've got a smooth part and a tile that are at the same level. 
And then what I'm going to do is on the back, I'm just going to build up a back wall like this. And this back wall is going to be four one by bricks high. So I've got this funny shape. Now, the way this is going to work is this. We are going to be able to put a coin. It's got, it's got to have two slants or two inclines to make it work. One is it's going to be inclined like this back a little bit so that when I put a coin on, it can rest on that back wall like this. Now the other slant that we need to do is to go like this and kind of turn it to the side like that. So if I go like this and I turn it to the edge like that, then that should basically do two things. Keep it on the wall and roll to the side. Okay, so that's our goal. Now, I can do this, but now I have all, if I have my two inclines, I can put them all on and they can start to roll. Now what we need to do is we need to start actually separating some coins. So for the next version, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. I'm going to make something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the same start that I did with a brick, some tiles on one side, and a plate, a one by eight plate on the other side. And I'm, instead of making a solid wall, we're going to make a hole so that the coins can fall through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some one by two bricks and I'm going to put two one by two bricks on the side. And then in that little windowsill right there, I'm going to put two more flat tiles like this. I hope, I hope this is working okay. Is it, I haven't seen any comments. I don't know if I'm missing something, but are people out there? Am I on the right channel? I just want to make sure I'm good. Okay, if you're quiet today, I know it's Friday, that's okay. Just want to make sure I'm in the right place, all right? Now, this right here, you could see what I did. I have my two, one by two bricks on the side, and then I have my one by two tiles right in between. Now, what this does is it gives me a ridge. So if I do the same thing, if I go like this and have it go on the side, this bottom tile right here enables this to roll here and it has a bottom ridge that it can still roll on as it goes by like that. Okay, I see some thumbs up. I think that's a good sign. So it has a bottom ridge. Now the key is the top. So what I'm going to do now is to make it the same side as this, I'm just going to go like this and put a, a one by brick. Hi Arlen. All right, we're in the right place. Nice to see you Arlen. So I have a one by brick right on top of my little window. Okay. And then just to make it the same height as my main one, I have this like this. So I'm going to go like that. Now, just for fun, I'm going to lock these together. I'm going to put a brick on top and a two by brick on the bottom. So now I've got this, okay? So now let's see what happens. If my quarter goes by, it will go like this. The bottom of it will rest on those t on that little window sill in the back. But is, is the window tall enough for it to fall through? No. So what is it going to do if I tilt it? It's going to roll right by. So I've got quarter, roll right by the window. Let's try a nickel, the next biggest one. Roll right by. So my nickel as well, if I show you closely, it rests on that little windowsill, but the top of the window is not big enough. So it's almost like a track, like a two rail track. So nickel rolls right by. Penny, let's try it. Oh, penny falls through. So the penny, when it rolls by this window, the bottom of it hits the little windowsill. The top of it falls through the window. Pretty cool. Let's try a dime. If the penny falls through, what do you think the dime's going to do? It's going to fall through. So now I've made already a simple coin sorter. But does it sort all four? No, it only sorts my big ones from my smaller ones. So this one would make two piles. It would make a pile of quarters and nickels and a pile of dimes and pennies. That's not good enough. So we need to make some different size windows. Now I made a few other starts. Let me show you. I made a few other starts the exact same way as I had before. Okay. So I started with two bricks going up. Okay. Now what we'll do now is let's see if we can separate quarters. Let's separate our big ones because that's the next easiest one. Let's separate quarters from nickels. So I need a window that is low enough, that is high enough for my nickel to fall through, but low enough so that my quarter can still roll by. So 
just putting a ridge on top is not enough. We need to make it a little taller. So what I'm going to do is this. We're going to start by using some one by plates. So I'm going to put two one by plates on top of this. You see how I did that? Just one by two plates on top, which is making my window a little taller than this, but not hopefully not too tall. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top of my window. Now just so it lines up with this, does everybody remember the special proportions of three plates equaling one brick? So because I put one plate on my window side, I'm going to put two levels of plates on top. Okay, and I just have a one by plate, some one by four plates. Then I'm going to put a brick on top like this, and now it is the exact same height as this. But can you see how this second window that I made is a little taller than this one? So the idea is, let's hope, let's see. First test, let's see if, if um, okay, this is good. Quarter will not fall through. That's good. Whoa! Unless I push it through. And then nickel, let's see if nickel goes through. Yes! Oh, lost it. Don't worry, Amma. I'm borrowing Amma's coins, my daughter's coins. I'm, I'm going to find every single one. Don't worry. So now let's try this. I'm going to hook these together. And now hopefully if this works, we can now sort into three different piles. Our goal is four piles. So what I'm going to do is I've got, okay, let's see what quarter does. Quarter goes by everything. Let's see what dime does. Dime falls in first window. Penny falls in first window. Now here's my goal. I want nickel to fall through window number two. Yes. All right. So now we are actually, this is looking really good. So now if I put a bunch of coins through here, you're right, Lara. Interest on all coins. Don't worry. It'll be, it'll be, a, it'll be, she'll get a good payoff out of this. So what I'm going to do is if I kept going with this, I would have three piles now. All the quarters would go off the side. All the nickels would go in window number two. And this window would swallow up our two smallest ones, our dimes and our pennies. Now here's the hard one. This is the hard one. This is where we have to make a window that is smaller than this, but not too small to allow a dime to go through. Now, here is the trick. What we've got to do, this is where our little headlight pieces come in play. What I tried to do at the beginning was make this basically put a, hmm, I gotta find something to show you. Let's just try this. You might think, okay, let's just make this one plate lower. If we made this plate, this window one plate lower like this, then, okay, oh shoot, sorry, more interest, more interest for my daughter. So now if I go like this, the penny rolls by, which is good, but let's see what happens with the dime. Oh, the dime rolls by too. So just adding one plate lower to this window is not going to work. It's got to be lower than this, but not so low as a plate. So how do we do that? That is where these little pieces come in. So watch carefully. This is very tricky. Hi, William. Thanks for joining us. All right. So now, again, I start the exact same way with my, with my window, my, my base with my tile on one side, my plate on the other, my little window cell, same, same thing. But here's where it's gonna be different. I'm gonna use a headlight piece, okay? Thank you, Krista, it's so nice to hear. It really means a lot. So I'm gonna take a headlight piece like this, and remember the difference. This is a one by one brick with studs on the side. And I'm gonna put them into, I'm gonna put them together like this. It's very important you can see this. So this is, Headlight, ugh, can you see? Headlight piece holding the brick piece facing down. So here's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, everybody see that? Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, my headlight piece is, is on my brick and my the brick with a stud on the side is gonna be facing down like this, okay? So they're both heading down. Now the trick is a tile. I'm gonna take a one by four tile and I'm gonna stick it upside down on there. Now, I know it's hard to see, but if you look closely, that is making a little, a little lip. 
which is below the brick. It's smaller than my than this window, than my window number one, the first one that we did. It, it comes down a little bit, but it's not so low. So the goal is, let's see if this works. The goal is that dime falls through, yes. Penny rolls by. So this gives us that little, little fraction of a fraction of an inch. I think it's even, it might be a millimeter but it allows us to get that correct spacing so that everything works. Now, the rest is just building out. Now you know how to do it. Now, if you are, this is totally aesthetic, which means it's all about looks, but if you don't want to have this funny gap in here, there's a really simple trick. On top of one of the pieces, you can put a flat one-by-one -one tile, and on the other one, you can put a one-by-one -one brick with a tile on top. I'll just show you for the heck of it. You don't have to do this, but it's just, so on one of them I stuck a, a brick with a tile, and on the other one, I'm gonna stick a, just a flat one by one tile if you have it. And look, when they go together, those heads just match up perfectly, but I still only have those two studs on the bottom, and then I can put this tile on the bottom of them like this, and I've got my little window ready to go. Now, my last thing is I want to build this up the same height, so I'm just going to do something very simple. I'm just going to get two one by bricks and fill those holes, and then we're going to put a one by eight brick or whatever combination of one by bricks you have on the top. So there is my heart, the hardest window. This window separates dimes from pennies. Now let's get all these in line. Okay, I'm going to break these apart because I want my smallest first. So I'm going to put my dime window first, then I need some more attachment bricks. So I've got regular ramp, then I've got dime window, then I've got penny window, then I've got nickel window, and let's just make a big old quarter window just for fun. For my quarter window, I'm just going to add another two more big old one by two bricks and then a one by eight brick on top. So now I'm going to attach this here. So now, if all goes well, we've got a coin sorter. We've got, so let's, oh my gosh, that all does not go well because I forgot. Mike Spee, I'm sorry, I forgot to overlap on the top. Bow, bow. Bow. Now, we've got a coin sorter. Let's see if it works. Now remember, the two angles we have to do, tilt it back a little bit and tilt it to the side. All right, are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna keep it low so it doesn't fall, and then later I'll show you we can make a really simple thing to catch these. Okay, penny, let's see, it should go through hole number two. Yes. Nickel, hole number three, please. Yes. Quarter, hole number four. Yes. Dime, hole number one. Oh, it missed it, okay. If it missed it, sometimes you really have to, with this one, because it's so tight, I have to make sure that I've pushed everything super tight and make sure everything's working. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Dime, I told you, door number one. What's happening? Uh-oh, that's not fair. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see it again. Okay, let's try it again. Penny, boom, dime. Yes, penny, yes, dime. Yes, dime again. Yes, oh goodness. Dime, penny. All right, we're working. Ah, now, now, how do we hold this thing up? Now, the easiest way to hold it up, if you have one of these pieces, is a ball joint. A ball joint is really amazing. It's kind of like a joint that is like your hip. Ama and Otto, hi. I love you. Thank you for helping me make this thing. Now, we've got our ball joint, which is kind of like how your shoulder and your hip works. You can, you can move up and down and side to side and, and pivot all around. A ball and a socket can do this. And so the benefit is if I had like a, um, a tower and I stuck this ball joint on like this and I stuck the other end on my coin sorter, I could try to get an angle like this and up and down. Do you see how that works? So that's pretty cool. So that's one way to do it if you have it. And let's let's see if we can... Yep, it works. It works. Okay, now, 
the other idea though I got, again, I got this idea from Mike, who the other day taught me a new way how to make roofs when we did our, our, um, our Play Well Live together, which was so fun. So what he taught me is that you don't even need to attach stuff down. If I went like this and I took a tower like this and I made kind of like a little, a little holder here. So what this is, is it has a higher end and a lower end. And then if I kind of hold this in here like this, it could just lean at an angle and that could work. Now I did the same thing on the bottom. Let's see if I can do this and get it down, make sure it's kind of in line. All right, now just for fun, to hold so I'm not going to lose too many more coins from Amma's little coin purse here. I'm going to make some walls, just really simple walls, by wedging some of these plates in here. Now I don't know where exactly I'm going to put them. I think I'm hopefully going to catch my dimes in here. I'm going to catch my... okay. I'm going to catch my pennies in here, hopefully. I'm going to catch my... can this work? I'm going to catch my nickels in here, okay, are we okay? And then my quarters are going to go in this last thing, which doesn't look like it's got a lot of space, but let's just make a little holder for it. I'll put some backs on these things. We'll see if it works. All right, so now I've got some little compartments. They're pretty funky, but you, again, remember, this is, the goal of this is for you to understand the idea behind it. We've got this rolling track with a bottom ridge, so the bottoms always can stay on, and the heights of the windows are different to allow them to fall in. So let's try this. Let's see if it works. Quarter. Yes, okay, I'm getting a bunch. I'm getting a bunch. I hope there's no foreign coins in here, because I don't know what those will do. All right, here we go. Quarter, penny. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah! I think we're perfect so far. I want to try some more dimes. Oh, I'm gonna give these back to my to Ama. So sorted and wonderful. She's gonna love it. So that is our Lego coin sorter. I'm gonna keep doing this because it's so fun. But I want to tell everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Look at that, hundred percent. Dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters. And again, the only difference between JD production or JD Brick Productions, his thing, is he used fancier pieces and made it smaller. And by understanding something, sometimes it's easier to use simpler pieces and make it big than you can, you know, understand how it works and make your own. So I hope everybody had fun. I hope everybody is doing well and is happy at home and safe and washing those hands. I'm gonna wash my hands too after all these coins. And I want to hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I can't wait to see you on Monday. Mike Spee is going to be with you on Monday. And Treehouse Tuesday. I'll be back with you on Tuesday. This is so fun. This is so fun. I'll see you on Tuesday. Mike will be here on Monday. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Bye.